everybody welcome back Monty geometry shadow getting ready for week 9 November 9th to the 14th it's gonna be a short week we're only gonna see each other twice because it's Veterans Day on Wednesday no school on Wednesday okay so this week we're gonna wrap up circles okay so remember got all that circle vocabulary you got to do a little math with the circles and then when we come back after Veterans Day on our Friday class, we got to get back to four-sided objects, parallelograms, okay? So we're going to review that, but with the idea of diagonals, okay? But before we do that, let's celebrate all the great things that happened last week and do our shout-outs. Yes, it's time for our shout-outs. Yes, it's time for our shout-outs. And we're into November, so let's get a different bell. Remember, we had some cowbells. We had the big dinner bell. This week, it'll be a xylophone. Okay, so our shout-outs this week. Let's start out with Mafia. And we need to say, wow. Some of you are just pushing yourself every week, 30 to 40 minutes, and I thank you for that. Look at how much you're picking up in addition to what we do in the classroom. So, getting started with our Mafia shout-outs. In period four, Alexis B, Maddie H, Nathan H, Reliance, Noah, Cam, Kayla, and Maya. Thank you for your Mafia work. In period five, we have Maya, Arthur, Matt, Carlene, and Sarah. Nice job on Mathia this last week. Going into a new month, we mustn't forget our birthdays. So let's give a shout out to birthdays this month. Kylie Heiner, November 10th. Cam O'Dell, November 12th. And Juan Black, November 14th. Happy birthday. And then the extra achievers, those people that come early to class, they stay late in class, they're offering their extra help, they're willing to chat, give examples, and then the folks that come to access time afterwards. I appreciate all of your input because it helps me know what I need to focus on most. Okay, and those shout outs are going to be in period four. Kristen B, Maya E, Haley, Carter, Hannah, Carlene, Ash and Teddy in period five, Alexis B, Claire D, Gabe, Sarah, Maddie H, Hunter, Noah, Cam, and Kayla. I appreciate all of the efforts by all of you folks each and every week. So those are our shout outs. All right, so remember Tuesday, we're gonna wrap up circles. Friday, all about four-sided objects. And we want to talk about adding the diagonal, okay? So think of a rectangle, but if we think of it with respect to a diagonal, what conjectures can we make, all right? See in a minute when we go further into four-sided objects this week. See you in a minute. Hey everybody, welcome back. Monty here, Shadow Park, Geometry. We are in week nine, November 9th to the 14th. No school Wednesday. So, one, two, three on Monday. Four, five, six on Tuesday. Skip Wednesday. One, two, three on Thursday, four, five, six on Friday, and we'll call it a week, okay? Don't forget, kind of a strange week this time. All right, we're going to go on to Lesson 2, M1, T2, Lesson 2. Those of you that are using your book, great opportunity this week to use the book because there's some charts in there that really are helpful. You don't have to write a bunch of stuff. We're on M1, 127. M1, 137, okay? All right, 
Remember this poster? This is how we started the year. I wanted you to know all of these vocabulary words at the beginning of the year. Okay? Now, we're going to use squares, parallelograms, the rhombus or the diamond, the rectangle, the trapezoid, and the kite all this week. All right? We're going to add diagonals to them. We're going to put diagonals in there. Okay? Now, this week is all about the word conjecture. If you have to, Google it. A conjecture is an opinion based on your knowledge. It's a prediction based on what you know. It's an educated guess. Now remember, every week in this class, what do you remember about what we're talking about? Because we all are bringing knowledge with us. What do you actually know about a square? And then, if you can ask the right questions, we can discover things. Okay, so shapes, new week, only two days of school, we're on lesson two. Vocabulary, conjecture, diagonals, okay? Now, you might be wondering, what's that mess in front of Monty? Okay. This week in class, maybe toilet paper squares take two pieces of toilet paper and we have a rectangle. Maybe that's easier to use and visualize. The one thing I want you to do in this class this year is to visualize. So look around the house, see what you have that can help you visualize the work. How about paper towels? Okay, this is a rectangular piece. That might be helpful. How about tissues, right? Kleenex. My Kleenex can either be square or rectangle. Might be helpful. If we were in the classroom, we just have tons and tons of patty paper, real thin paper that you can trace and see. Tissue paper works that way. Trace and see. Regular paper. Nothing wrong with regular paper, okay? How about regular paper and scissors? Three by five cards, scissors. In our house, we have napkins that are square. You unfold them and look at the visuals. When we fold this in half, maybe that'll help you visualize because isn't when we fold in half, isn't that the diagonal? How about just old newspaper? Look around the house, see what you can visualize, and this is why. Remember when we were trying to discover the formula for the area of a rectangle, the area of a square, and then I said, what happens if we want the area of a triangle? Well, isn't the triangle nothing more than the diagonal? When we create the diagonal, what do you know about this angle and this angle? This angle and this angle. This angle and this angle. What do you know about this angle and this angle? You have knowledge. You know things. And this week, I want you to make a prediction. This triangle here, is it exactly the same as this triangle? Do I have to flip it, reflect it? How about a rectangle? If I have a rectangle and I was to draw a diagonal, what would I know? When I fold this in half, it doesn't look the same, or does it? What do we know about this angle and this angle? This angle and this angle. This angle and this angle. What do we know about these two triangles? What prediction can you make? That's what we're going to be doing all week with all these shapes. Also, 
do you have a kite? Remember, in geometry, we always test you on that shape. So a kite has this cross, this plus sign. What do we know about the diagonals in a kite? The diagonals in a diamond, in the rhombus. What conjectures can we make? All right, so I look forward to seeing you this week. Look around the house to make yourself easier to visualize the math. See you on Tuesday.